uh, add that to one's baseline Framingham risk score, which is a very commonly used risk score for cardiovascular disease. It's categorized into low, intermediate, and high risk based on the percent chance or likelihood over 10 years that one person would have an event. So for example, the implication of our work would be that if one had a Framingham risk score of let's say 6%, let's say they were a 40-year-old male, uh, which gets you about 3%, and they smoked cigarettes, which gets you up to about 6% risk over 10 years. Now, if they had severe psoriasis, you would add 6.2% to that, and that would move them into an intermediate risk category. And now they're between 10 and 20%, so their lipid goals, their blood pressure goals, their weight goals, all of those goals have changed to become more aggressive. And the first implication of that work would be that they should be seen by a dietitian, seen by an exercise person to counsel for exercise and therapeutic lifestyle changes. They should be seen by their primary care doctor for weight management, for BMI control. And a very small percent of patients may actually find themselves on blood pressure and lipid lowering therapy. In our experience, that is not a very large amount of our patients because they are young and this severe psoriasis does portend a cardiovascular risk in addition to traditional risk factors. However, we believe that this is just increasing awareness to the association that severe psoriasis being a T-cell mediated disease, atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries is a T-cell mediated disease. So most likely what's going on in the skin with all of these plaques that we are seeing are probably going on in the blood vessel as well.